Hi, I'm Chris from Inside the Recording Studio Podcast. In today's video, I'd like to give you some audio examples of the podcast when we talked about layering guitars. So let's take a listen. Here is a simple riff that I wrote, sort of like a Foo Fighters kind of vibe, and this is just one guitar, and it sounds like this. All right, not super exciting just yet, but we're going to make it a little bit better. So that's just one guitar. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double that guitar with a slightly different sound. They're still in the very much in the same family, but I'm also hard panning them left and right. Um, here we go. It sounds like this. Now, that technique is probably old hat for a lot of you guys, but uh, we're going to add a third and fourth guitar here with a very, very different sound where both of these guitars are going to be very, very clean. So if I mute the backing track here and everything, I'm going to add a pair of these guitars. <laughs> very different sounding. Now what that's going to do is I'm going to bring them up a little bit here for to make it a little bit more obvious here but what they're going to do is they're going to add a lot more definition to our fairly fuzzed out riff that we have. So let's take a listen to just the guitars again all four of them here at this time. <laughs> So hopefully you can hear how that adds a lot more clarity and definition. And again, in our backing track, here we go. So that was all done with just one guitar. That was my Strat with a custom Nick Ruba's neck. It was just an EMG 85 uh, humbucker and just changed the tone slightly. So you see how hopefully that with adding that really clean guitar, how we can get a lot more definition uh, and using that subtly and we'll just bring that part to life. All right, stay tuned for part two in this and have a great day.